Hi, I'm Mark Fisher, Director of Education with the Thames Valley District School Board. I'd like to welcome you to another social media chat. During these weekly videos, I read through questions and comments we receive from the community and do my best to provide answers and clarification. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge that next week is Mental Health Week and we have a lot of activities planned in Thames Valley. Our Culture for Learning team is hard at work preparing daily mental health tips and activities. We have also launched a student art contest called Our Creative Class. We are inviting you to submit artwork, songs, and videos so that we can share images of positive mental health and well-being and spread these messages across the Thames Valley District School Board. I want you to know that if you or someone you know is in need of mental health supports, we have a dedicated staff and a web page where you can find local crisis supports and resources for students and their families. We've also been compiling COVID-19 specific resources to help you and your family during this difficult time. Okay, let's jump into some of the questions for this week. We are gonna focus on inquiries from Thames Valley District School Board students. Question number one comes from Twitter, and this is one I'm hearing a lot. When will schools reopen? Will the school year be extended? And why don't we just cancel the rest of the school year? Well, the information that we have today is that the school closure period has been extended to the end of May, and then we will re-examine to see if there's a possibility of a staggered or staged re-entry in June. The reason we're not just canceling the school year at this point is we are hopeful that we'll have an opportunity for students uh, to come in and have some final closure before the year finishes. Which leads us to our next question, which comes from a student on Instagram. When can I go into my school and get my stuff from my locker? Well, it's funny. I have a daughter in grade 10, and she's asking me the same question. Right now, we are taking our guidelines from the Ministry of Education and from the local health departments, and they are currently indicating to us that it is not yet safe for students to enter schools. I do want you to know that as soon as we get the clearance, we will organize a staged and safe manner for you to go in and get your belongings. You will not lose those belongings. We will make sure that they are returned to you in safe working order. All right, the next question comes from a student via email. I'm in grade 12 and I was really looking forward to celebrating graduation with my class. Why have they canceled our ceremony? I don't want to miss out on this important milestone. Well, I'd like to acknowledge that this is really, really disappointing news. But right now, we have restrictions on public gatherings for any more than five people. Therefore, it is currently impossible to run with spring graduations. What I will promise you is that these activities, these commencements, will be moved into the fall so that you have the opportunity to get together and celebrate with your peers this important milestone, provided things are safe at that time. But we will not jeopardize your opportunity to recognize this important stage and step in your life. All right, next question comes from a student and it is via Facebook. Is summer school still going to run this year? Well, the good news is that summer school registration opens on Friday, May the 1st. And uh, we are committed to running a summer school, but this summer school will be uh, virtual in a distance learning platform. So we're not yet ready to do face-to-face -face summer school, but we will be running summer school on an online platform. And our next question comes from a student via email. The student writes, honestly, I am struggling to keep up. I am working more and more hours at my job, and I just don't have the time to do all of the work that my teacher has assigned. As the schoolwork piles up, it causes me even more anxiety. Who can I reach out to for support? Well, there are a number of elements in this question that I want to address. The first one is around well-being and anxiety. I think it's really important to know that I've given my personal guarantee that we are following a do no harm philosophy in the Thames Valley District School Board. What do I mean by this? I mean that no student will be disadvantaged because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The grade that you received on March 13 is the baseline grade that you will receive for the year. Anything above and beyond this in terms of your effort will, in, will result in an improved standing. When, it, when you talk about anxiety, I want you to know that we have attendance counselors reaching out to families, we have social workers, we have psychological services staff to make sure that you're okay. And if you're not feeling okay, we can either provide support ourselves or we can connect you with important community agencies. 
I'd also like to touch base on the amount of time that is assigned for work. Our teachers are doing a fantastic job switching from a face-to-face -face platform to an online platform. But this is new for them, and it's really difficult and challenging to figure out how long each of the assignments will take. I was working with my son on the weekend, and he's in grade four, and it took us more than the prescribed weekly amount of time to finish the work. But I reached out to his teacher, provided a little bit of feedback, and they were really open to making those adjustments. So it is really, really important that you follow those guidelines. Depending on what grade you're in, you shouldn't really be exceeding that amount of work. So if you're in high school, we're looking at roughly three hours per week. Other grades, it's anywhere from one to one and a half to two hours per week. But we're going to get better at that, and I don't want you to feel anxiety and stress. I want you to make sure that you're taking care of your well-being, you're staying connected, and we will do our best to support you, and we will get through this together. Okay, I see that that's all the questions we have for this week. I would encourage you to please sending in, send in these submissions. I want to continue this online dialogue and honest feedback. It's a great opportunity for me to connect with the community and see what you're concerned about and what you're worried about. Uh, speaking of feedback, I think it's really important for you to know that we will be reaching out to you and your families through a survey to hear about what you think of distance learning. We want you to know about the quantity and the quality of the work that's being assigned by your teacher. So keep an eye out for the survey and uh, we will get the results back to you in a couple weeks. Before I close, I want to acknowledge that this Friday is a very important day. It's National Principals Day. So students, please reach out to your principals to acknowledge their tremendous efforts. And uh, I want to personally say how grateful I am to be working with our team of principals here in Thames Valley District School Board. So until next week, stay healthy and stay safe.